Hello, Seta here. In this video, I will show you how to get the effect of puddles and wet terrain in the Unity Edge DRP, of course, without using any additional shaders. So, let's get started. Before we move to the Unity, we need to prepare a special mask map texture that will help us to create wet terrain. In Unity RDRP, a mask map is a texture that contains multiple grayscales image packed into each channel. Red channel contains metallic map, green channel ambient occlusion map, blue channel details map, and alpha channel smoothness. We must remember that in the mask map, black and white colors represent specific material properties. In most cases, black indicates no or minimum value of a particular material property, and white represents the maximum value. So a completely black area in the red channel represents a non-metallic surface with no reflectivity, and for example, white area in the alpha channel represents smooth surface. To create this texture, I will use Photoshop, but you can do this with almost any graphic programs. Okay, so I create this white box image, and then let's move to the channels and add new channel, that will be alpha channel, and then let's paint this alpha channel to white color and we paint this red channel to black. Okay, now let's save this texture. Let's select Targa. Alpha channel should be enabled. Let's name this wet mask and click save and 32 bits per pixel. If you don't have any graphic program, you can download this texture from the link that I post in the video description. And now let's move to the Unity. Okay, so we have this tutorial scene and we want to add some puddles here. So first we must to create a terrain material with high blending and then assign it to this terrain. So first let's right click and select create material. Let's name it Terra and then let's choose HDRP Terrain Lit and enable high blending. Let's increase this value just a little. Let's enable GPU instancing. And then click on the terrain and assign this material here. On this terrain I have two terrain layers one for grass and one for ground. And we want to add some puddles on the ground texture, so first we must create a tiered layer that will include this wet mask. So create layer, select any random texture, and then we need to assign this texture to this diffuse box. Then we need to assign this wet mask to mask box. And now when we start painting, we have another different texture here. And when we change this color tint, we can set how dark and how much reflection these puddles have. And of course it work with reflection prop or you can select project settings 
and add some screen space reflection to get a really nice reflection on it. Of course you can spend some time to create more puddles and to give them shape as you like. For more realistic look you can always raise the terrain in the place where is no puddles. And what if we want to the whole environment to be wet? There is a several ways to get it. You can choose every material and set the smoothness manually to get these reflections. Or you can use script to automatically change the smoothness on all materials. Or you can use decals. To do this we need to first create a new material. So create material. Let's name it decal and then let's choose shaders hdrp decal let's assign this mask here and here let's disable affect normal and then let's create a new HDRP decal projector. Okay, so we have this decal projector. Let's move it here. These arrows show us the direction in which the projector will project the image. So let's rotate this box so that the arrow points down. And now let's increase this projection deep and increase the size of the box. Okay, now let rotation to be zero, zero, ninety, and let's rise this up. just above here and increase this projection deep. Okay, so as you can see, all our models are affected by this decal. We make it white on purpose because now we go edit project settings, HDRP, and let's enable layers. And now, as you can see, our house is not affected by this decal. We do this because we don't want to the wetness be inside the house, only just on the roof. So let's click on the roof and select here, decay layer default. So as you can see, now the roof is affected by these decals. You can set this manually to an object that you want to be wet or disable this decal layer on object that you don't want to be wet. And now let's move to our decal projector and assign this decal here. Let's select decal and decrease this to dark. So now, as you can see, we have the shiny roof. Our other elements of this house are not affected by water and our surface are wet just like all vegetation. Of course, now you can add reflection probe. So right click, lighting reflection probe. Let's set them here. Let's increase this box size. 
100. Let's enable influence volume and bake them. So as you can see, all object and terrain that we want are now wet. Of course, the technique style I'll show you can be freely mixed and for example you can create a texture of the stain that can we be placed on the building or use them to obtain the wet patterns on asphalt. And that's all for this video, thank you for watching, if you have any questions just let me know in the comments below and till the next time, see ya!